Hi, it's me again. I just want to show you, as I promised, how to make grounding mat out of my copper mesh. The copper mesh I have, I got it from Alibaba. It's 99.99% copper. And um, the reason why I chose copper is because copper is one of the best uh, material for conducting electricity. But um, in hindsight, I think the... Um, the fabric, the mesh I get is fantastic. It's like fabric. It doesn't, when you lie on it, you don't feel it. But because it's so thin, it actually tear, tear easily. So I won't recommend this anymore. I might, this is a 200 micron mesh, copper mesh. I might buy um, a lower micron. So it's just not so thin and it doesn't break as easily. But anyhow, I want to show you how I make it. So... First thing is you, I have this whole roll and I'm just going to cut a section of it and it's so easy to cut this one, just put a pair of scissors, it's like cutting fabric, just go straight through, very, very, very easy and then like fabric, it can run in the end, so what you need to do is to take the end, so I'm going to come back with a tape, actually. I have no idea where my tape is. I'll have to look and see if I can find it. Yeah, I've cut it. It doesn't matter how big it is. It's really up to you. If um, if it's just for a single person, I will usually just cut um, half a meter by a meter. Actually, even less than that, it's fine. So this is a meter by half a meter, approximately. So yeah, that's right. And um, because this is... Um, this is mesh. After using it for a while, it actually shrinks. So I don't mind it having a bit bigger right now. Because if you look at it closely, all of this mesh, um, all of this little, little tiny copper wire will, will shrink. No, the wire doesn't shrink, but the whole fabric does. So I'm going to find a ta tape and I'll be back. Hi, I'm, I'm back. So I found a tape. I don't have any other tape right now. I don't know what it is. I don't know what anything is. This is a packing tape. You can use any tape you want, but I would actually recommend masking tape because it's easy to work with. And this is not a masking tape, but it will do the job. So all you need to do is just to take the end so it doesn't run and it doesn't fresh. Very easy. Tape it. So just put it on. And what you do later on is you fold it over. Forgiving as masking tape. So you just turn it around, take it on. This is just to protect the end. Just to stop it from flying. Just make it pretty. So you can make it pretty. So basically, I have bought this grounding wire. It's from one of the earthing shop. The earthing shop sells grounding bed sheets and they come with this thing. And what they do is they pin this to the um, a button in the bed sheet. But even the extra metal, as long as this metal touch touches this copper wire, that can conduct electricity. So all you need to do is to tape it down, touch it and tape it down. Very, very, very simple. So just making sure that there is, um, it touches. So I'm just going to tape it down. Just find the corner and then it does touch the copper mesh. The 
electric part, but just electric. So, there you go. I'll show you later on where to buy this. I'll send you the link. It costs about just under $20. So, instead of buying a mat that costs a good, a small bed sheet, a uh, grounding sheet for a bed, for a king size bed, it can cost up to $500. This one will cost you probably around fifty dollars, if that. If you if you can buy a cheaper material compared to the metal, sorry, copper mesh, you can get a cheaper material. It can cost a lot less. I, I just wanted the copper because of the how well it conducts electricity. All right, I finished making my grounding mat, and I just want to do a quick demonstration to show you how it works. So I have my voltmeter here. It's attached to the ground, and I am sitting here, charged up to 2 volt. I'm not touching anything. I'm just sitting on my wooden chair. I'm not touching the concrete floor. So I'm about, I'm charged up to 2 volt. So what happens when I put my hand near the uh, electrical switch? It's gone up to... So my hand's on the electrical switch. Now it's creeping up to 5. When I lift my hand away, it's about 2.7, 2.6, and when I touch it, it's 4, 5, or approximately 5. But anyhow, I'm, r I'm running out of hand because I need to touch that and I need to touch the grounding mat. So I am going to use my to touch the grounding mat that I've just made and I want to show you how the reading changes so it's about almost six at the moment now I'm just gonna touch the mat Ooh, immediately it goes down to 0 0.09 so I'm grounded my grounding mat works very simple just attach a wire anything that conducts electricity, touch the mat, connect that to the earth pin. Then when you touch the mesh, oops, well, I think you've seen enough um, that my grounding mat works. When I touch it, it goes from 5 volt to 0 0.09 volt. So that's pretty effective. I'm only touching it with my foot, one foot. So that's awesome. Thank you. So I'm going to... Um, I look forward to seeing you um, make your own grounding mat. You don't have to use copper wire. You can use any grounding material. Any metal will work. Aluminium. If you can find an aluminium mesh, that will be a really cheap option. And it conducts electricity very well also. So um, if you find a solution, let me know. Thank you. Bye. So I hope you have enjoyed the videos. And if you do, don't forget to click like and subscribe. We will be making a whole lot more videos on DIYs and how to give you some tips and tricks on how to live an organic and sustainable lifestyle. And also don't forget to click the notification button as well so you get notified of any new videos uh, that we post. Until next time, um, that's it for now. See you later.